I still get to have a flower moment just on the edge of winter. Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to Over 50 and Fantabulous. My name is Lynn. Yes, that's a grape on top of my head. <laughs> It's like I was telling Cheryl Coyote uh, in a response to her comment about us both having purple hair. Uh, the package said one thing, and as the developer started to work, it started to turn light purple, much to my shock. I happen to like lavender, but uh, uh, <laughs> never thought it'd be on top of my head. I was very grateful as it at least darkened a little bit. <laughs> I might have to uh, get a black hair color and put a few streaks of black in it to tone it down, I would say. Maybe the roots and uh, we'll kind of stripe in some black to balance it out. I walked into the bank and they couldn't help but stare at my head and look at me as though to say, why lady, why? <laughs> Oh, by the way, I'm slowly replacing my wardrobe. I mistakenly left a few bags behind, much to my shock and dis disappointment. I picked this up at Goodwill. I think it was uh, $9.99. Considering the average uh, winter coat is about $59 at Walmart, I, I think I did pretty good. <laughs> Just wanted to take you outside and get out of the camper for a little bit. How you doing? I've been praying for many of you as you're facing different challenges. The prayer or arming ourselves video came from my situation. But whenever I'm feeling uncomfortable, I'm feeling stressed, I sense that some of you are as well. Uh, this is my uh, second uh, day off. I've had several days off. I had to go in uh, yesterday. Yesterday I had to go in. been a little bit challenging, but you know the old lady, uh, <laughs> I just keep going as Carmen and I say to each other when I call her, my sister Carmen, I say, how you doing girl? She goes, I'm still kicking. And then I go, yeah, well, I'm still kicking. Are you still kicking? Yes, you are. Not going to let a little bit of disappointment and stress get you down, now, are you? No, you're not. You're a fighter. Then I do not want you giving up in the middle of your stress, take it to the Father. It gives you comfort and peace. I would like to thank my subscribers for your support and sticking with me. And speaking of support, there's a blue support button on my front page. The three of you uh, have donated to me and I am very, very grateful. Thank you so very much for your kindness. Thank you so very much, right on time. Thank you so very much. Just got some paperwork in uh, from the company uh, discussing their medical plan and dental and uh, oh, the, eye, the eyeglasses, you know, the prescription plan. And then I got a piece of paper talking about, uh, a piece of paper, another envelope in today talking about retirement. That they'll take a certain percentage and they'll automatically pay it. And oh, at the age of about 59 and a half, you know, you, you know, can retire. I'd like to stop at 57. Is it, no, not 57. I'm 57 now. <laughs> I'd like to stop. I think it, I'm getting all my numbers mixed up, but anywho, I'd like to stop at 62. I'd like to stop at 62, which gives me about five more years of work. Not sure what the situation will be then or if the Lord will have me here that long. 
but I've been working since I was 12 years old, and quite frankly, I'm kind of tired. Are you tired? <laughs> as we schlep, or let me let me put it to myself, as I schlep and drag my wrinkly behind in. You know, I I I, I respect uh, people in authority. Uh, but it's kind of hard sometimes to take direction from someone that looks like a child. <laughs> Go over there and do this. I'm like, granddaughter, okay. <laughs> but that's her or his job. And their authority is to be respected, so of course I do. You want to see what I'm looking at? windy day here. Off in the distance, way down yonder. Are those moo-moos? I think those are moo-moos. I love when I'm driving in or out from work, especially early in the morning. I love seeing the cows and the bulls and the, and the goats. I know that sounds kind of whatever, but those of you who live in the country understand. And as I look out onto the fields, I wonder about the first family on this planet. And all the plants and things around them. I think about things like that. It may sound kind of strange, but I think about things like that. When, you, when you've lived way over half your life. You start thinking about things differently. It seems like every 10 years, maybe you were sort of stuck in an opinion about a certain subject matter, right? Whether it's marriage or whatever subject matter that is. As you get older, at least to me, you kind of loosen up a little bit, not to the point of rebellion, but you, you loosen up a little bit. You're not so, sort of so, so so strict about it. I don't know what other way to describe it. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? You, you don't let little things bother you as much. You, what, what do the people say? Uh, the statement, uh, you don't sweat the small stuff. I apologize if the wind is messing with the microphone. But yeah. I'm finding my attitude is a little more relaxed. And I'm finding my attitude is a little less earth focused. Money is a is a tool to, 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 to take care of what you need to. A vehicle is just to get you where you need to go. Food is just to keep you alive. You don't fuss as much. The only time I fuss is if I have one piece of cheesecake left and everybody's had there and somebody sneaks in and eats mine, Granny doesn't like that. <laughs> Uh, I like the Sara Lee frozen cheesecake with the strawberries on top. Let it thaw just a little bit. I like it a little bit frozen. Sorry to go off topic. But this is a checking in on a windy day vlog. And it's so peaceful. I have learned to appreciate those days, oh, these days off. Oh yes indeed. I uh, was babysitting last night. What's happening is my children are working and there's a bit of a space, about an hour and a half to two hour space where they need someone. I volunteer! <laughs> Ooh, my granddaughter. Goodness gracious. I was uh, bringing in some furniture out of the garage and she thought she was going to help me and I had to say go in there and sit your hiney down and granny's got it she just wants to help one of the items was a mirror for a dresser and I'm windexing it and when I got it all clean I she wanted to help so I gave her a piece of paper toweling and I spritzed it once for her just to just so she can say mommy look I helped I cleaned it you know how we do yeah. My grandson, he, his words 
they're sort of goop goop back 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 and and bits and pieces of words but he's getting better heck he's only going to be two but it's just amazing to me i know i talk about them maybe too much <laughs> but it's just amazing to me and now i more than ever get my mom i more than ever understand you know she used to say and i thought it was kind of cruel you know one day i'm going to pack a bag i'm going to get my clothes i'm going to pack a bag and i'm going to leave and nobody's going to know where i am i totally understand the grab the bag and run away from reality statement now i totally understand that y'all understand that i totally understand that we know we can't do that I'm sure one in whatever the amount of people have done that where a parent, it can be a male, a, a male and, and a female as well. Shockingly enough, a female as well. You just want to run away from all the stress and all at the end of the month you're stressing. Do I have the rent? Do I have the mortgage? Do I, do I have the electric cable and cell phone and everything? You know what I mean? You, you want to run away from uh, the family members that just won't listen. I have one young lady that commented about her daughter not allowing her to see her grandchildren. What a horrible thing. Life is too short. Life is too short. You gotta let past arguments or whatever caused that to be go. Sometimes, yes, I'm just talking about me. You kind of want to delve in and be a little bit too nosy at times. You're wondering if, you know, your adult children are making the right decisions. Well, you know, if it was me, I'd do this. No, but it's not me. It's them. I had a long heart to heart with my uh, daughter-in-law and son, and I told them, look, these are your children. You know, we're going to all agree in the way things should be done where they should sit, you know, the certain meals and, and disciplining and stuff like that. You know, you have to... It's hard because you think you're right because they're your children, then you're looking at grandchildren. Sometimes you gotta let that go. Oh, that's hard. It was hard for me to let my son go and be an adult. But who the heck do I think I am? Why is it we always, some of us always think we know better? tell you what, you can learn something from a child. Yes, you can. Ah, oh, we're getting close to the moos that were at the distance. Look at them. They are not worried about a doggone thing. I don't know if that's blurry or not. I have my sunglasses on. Those moos or bulls are not worried about a doggone thing. sometime in the evening. Goodness gracious, they're all making noise at the same time. I don't know if that's beef cattle or what that is. I don't know much about uh, the neighbors. Anywho. Just checking in with you. Thank you so much for your patience with me. And sincerely being my Dr. Phil's and Dr. Phil's. Marnie Causey, I am praying for you. Now keep Marnie Causey in your prayers, would you please, for a situation? I love you all so very much. I'd like to thank you for your patience with me as I prattle on. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.